Buonanotte a tutti. <ride> e penso che siete stanchi, no? E, ok. E, it's a great pleasure to stay with you this night. I think you are the winners of this, this night and this, this TED. And because you, you are the last in, here in, the, in these seats and after many speakers. And for me, it's a great pleasure to stay with you. Uh, the, my topic is very simple, uh, as the name is simple innovation to complex problems. Uh, why simple innovation? Because I think in the world, all of the people are thinking to solve uh, many problems, but in, the same, in, the, in a complex way. Uh, many of us, uh, for example, if you want to run a marathon, you need to, to run every morning uh, for a long time. This is a complex work. But if you uh, are thinking to do simple things uh, to solve complex problems, I think is the best way at, uh, and the, the best thing to, to solve situations that need our support uh, or need our, our help. For example, in this picture, you can see uh, in the top of the complex problems is the deforestation. This is the frontier between AT and Dominican Republic. In Dominican Republic, you can see more green, and in AT, more less green. Why? For the deforestation. Because the deforestation in AT is 80%. Uh, many, only the 20% of the people in AT has electricity, and the other persons need to, with the blood, produce uh, energy to cook your foods. This is a complex problem. But if you think in simple things, for example, this is a scale. For me, uh, uh, design a scale is a simple, it's simple, but you can solve a complex problem. You can save the life in a fire of a, a cat. <laughs> uh, many of the great companies in this moment are spending a lot of money in innovation. For example, the 100 innovators in, this, uh, in the last year generate 4.5 trillion of dollars in revenues. Uh, this is the idea, if you are a, a good innovator, you can produce more, you can sell more, and uh, you can be the leader in the market. But I think these 100 innovators is thinking in, for example, in technology. The technology is very useful. For example, the iPad. But if you don't have energy, you, you can have an iPad. And now, in this moment, after Michelangelo, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, the, uh, for example, the Industrial Revolution, the Technological Revolution, many things. Now, 1.2 billion of people uh, doesn't have ele uh, energy in the world. This is the 20% of the people. And we need to think in a simple way, with simple innovation, to solve complex problems. This is a good example. This is um, the top 10 countries in Africa. This is the richest countries in Africa. For me, when I started to think in Africa, my first uh, mind was that Africa is a poor country, but, or poor continent, sorry. But in this country exist 10 uh, countries that are richest. Why? Because has, ha, these countries have electricity, have oil, have natural resources. And uh, with, this, uh, with these resources can produce money, uh, uh, good 
uh, quality of life. And if you can see, they all have cost, all have a seer. And our idea uh, that I would like to introduce is that exists a sustainable investment if you can produce energy in the ocean in the, with, this, with the uh, move of the wave, for example. This is uh, one of the, uh, the different technologies that you, you can use. And if you, if you can see, more than 80% of the countries in the world has a coast, is, uh, has energy in the, in, the, in the waves. If you have energy, you can be a rich, a rich country. But in this moment, only United States, the north of Europe, of Europe uh, Australia, is developing these, these technologies. And other countries, as Latin America, Africa, doesn't have technologies to produce electricity in the, in the ocean. And for that reason, we are thinking in a sustainable investment. The sustainable investment is the possibility that you can think in the people, in the planet, and in the profit, yes? But I think many of the investors in this money, in this, in this time, sorry, is thinking only in the money. But the idea for, for, for us is to think in the sustainable way. Uh, this is our project. It's a technology, it's a device that you can produce electricity with the waves. Uh, we are working together with the University of Padua and the University of Parma to in, 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 the, in, in the way to produce a device with a marine application and with a power electronics. This is a video, and you, you can see who is our, our technology. This is a container. This is a, a recycled container. This is the, the first important thing that we are using recycled materials. And this is the move of the wave. And when the, when the wave enters in this device, uh, the device produces a flow of air that this flow is going to all of the device and start to move uh, one turbine. And this turbine, is the, 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 the dispositive that start to produce the energy. And this is the system. The, the best uh, part is the type of the flow of the air. And this is the, in the future, our idea is to have a good design very eco-friendly, and you can have uh, the technology in, around the world, in the, in the island, in the coast, in the, in the offshore, near shore, and the idea is to use Italian design. You, you can see that this is a good example of the Italian design, and with this, you, uh, the idea is to put the systems in the islands where the, the people need electricity. Um, this is the container. And with many of containers, you, you, you can put in this architecture. And uh, this is very interesting because it's a part of the ecosystem. OK, uh, again, about the simple things. Uh, for us, uh, this technology is a very simple device, because you, you, uh, you need only a containers. 
in a modular way, you, you put uh, one or two, three, five containers, depends on the energy that you need in the, in the island. And uh, we are thinking to in the blue ocean. This, uh, this is a theory, a theory when you go, when the other competitors uh, in this moment uh, is not your focus. And for us, our focus is these islands where the people uh, has a, a no idea to, to invest because uh, the risks of the country, the problems of, for example, uh, war. But our idea is with many, um, many, many people, uh, we can start in, a, in the best way to, to have this dispositive in, in, in the near time. Uh, this is the, the, the important things of the device. Uh, again, it's very simple. And the other important part in this graph, you can see that our technology, if, the, if you can use all of the airflow, you can have uh, the blue, the blue uh, line is the efficiency of this device. And the efficiency is, is higher than the current renewable energy dispositives, for example, solar energy or eolic energy. Why? Because the, uh, the movement of the waves is more constantly than the, the sun or than the air. This is uh, our experiments in the lab. And we simulate all of the move of the sea. And the, we have an uh, electronic device that uh, is, a, is a robot that depends on the movement in, in the different uh, oceans. You can maintain the quality of the electricity. Uh, finally, this is our, the the competitive advantage of this technology is a uh, few money. It's a reduced uh, capex uh, opex. The, you doesn't need a lot of money to have this dispositive in the in the market. Uh, it's eco-friendly. Uh, this device has an innovative design, design, and has a double efficiency if you compare with other technologies. And this is the future, uh, to have a very nice uh, dispositive uh, to support the islands. And uh, if the people can use this device, for example, to eco, eco park in the, to promote the, the, the tourists, the co-tourists, is a very good uh, idea to to a complex problem with a simple, innovative design. This is all. Okay.